Hey guys, happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Y'all, I was sitting up in my office and I was on some lunch. I bought a can of soup. I just didn't want this soup. I had taken a little bowl of taco soup out the freezer, but it wasn't unthawed, so I didn't do it. And I had some watermelon. So I uh, ate the watermelon. I had three little slices of watermelon and um, squares. And I wanted something else. So I came out and I just got me an order of onion rings, y'all. See if y'all can prop y'all. Yeah. Anyway. So she gave me this little thing of ketchup. So I guess I'm supposed to make this one thing of ketchup do. They were but two dollars and fifty cents, by the way. What? That ain't even ketchup, y'all. This salsa. She, she picked up the wrong thing. Oh lord, I don't have no ketchup. But y'all, I'm hungry. So guess what? I'm getting ready to eat this. I don't want no sauce on there. I don't have it in the car. But anyway, I had to taste these already. Mmm. So I better stay going. This don't feel so good, y'all. So I'm staring wheel all up in the way. What y'all have for lunch, though? Very good. You know how you just have a taste of something? And that's where I'm at. Taste it would have been better with some ketchup though. But I she gave me this little tainted tainted cup. You know, I can't stand a water. I don't drink that water up. Better can't be chewed. These iron rings are good. They're not real crunchy. I don't know if y'all can smell. They got a like better on. Um, let's see. Yeah. They're not real crunchy, but they got a crunch too. They got. Look like they got some parsley on them as well. Anyway. I'm parked outside. So y'all, have y'all ever fallen asleep on somebody on the phone? That's something I, I don't think I've done but one time. Last night, I was talking to my sister now on the phone. I don't know, I heard her say something about she was parking in the Sam's like she's getting ready to go in the Sam. And she was still talking. I think I must have dozed off on her about three minutes. And I was like, I had to shake myself away. And she said something. So she must have been on the road. Now, what she was talking about, I don't know. I feel so bad. I guess I was just broke down. And so, after I got off the phone with her, I slept for about an hour. And then I couldn't go back to sleep. Until like, it was like 1.15 this morning because I remember I set up and watched Perry Mason. And then I got, turned the TV off, still couldn't go to sleep. So I got on YouTube for a while. And y'all this morning, but I kept getting up and down going to the bathroom after I did go to sleep. And this morning... I was still, I was on the struggle team, trying to get up, trying to get up, so I was went to get myself ready. Well, uh, it was selling something. Well, when I got to work this morning, it was some number that I didn't recognize calling me, right? I'm like, I'm trying to get ready for work. You know, I'm not be out driving Lyft anyway. Well, I'm like, I'm trying to get ready for work. I don't have time to be on the telephone. So, I didn't answer the phone. Well, it turns out it was my VP looking for me. <clears throat> so I'm like, where was I? 
they were waiting on me at the corporate jack. And luckily I had told the executive assistant that I had taken myself off the jet because they still had me on the manifest. First of all, I didn't even put myself on the jet. Let, let, let me just go back here. They took it upon themselves to put me on the jet. All right, so I want to go over there. I had some deadlines and stuff I had to do here in some meetings. Friday when I came to work, even though I wasn't feeling good, I told her to take me off the jet. Well, apparently she didn't do that. Luckily, I had told our executive assistant in our department. So our senior VP called her. After my VP called me and I didn't answer the phone, senior VP called her, oh, sent her an email or something, and luckily she knew that I had taken myself off the jet. So she sent him back, you know. Because, you know, you have a show time when you're supposed to be there and wheels are supposed to be up at a certain time. And me and my co-worker was talking about this. I said, I don't know why people call you when they really want something. I'm telling y'all, let's tell y'all to get to this point. I can't stand it. I'm old school. I don't do a lot of texting, but I will text sometimes. But I don't do a whole lot of texting. But if you call somebody and if it's something important like that, sense I'll tell you why don't people leave messages when I really want something with somebody that's important I do call sometimes and don't leave messages but when it's something important I say you know what I'm gonna leave a message now whether the person listen to it or not that's on them but I'm at least gonna leave a message so do y'all call people and y'all want something that's important do you leave a message don't be just assuming I'm going to call you back because I see your number. I'm like, well, they must have want nothing. <sighs> I call people sometimes just to check on them. I'm like, it ain't nothing important, so I ain't going to leave no message. So, you know how that go. Y'all tell me what y'all preferred method. This is a funny looking. This is a whole piece of onion. Hmm. Mm. That's juicy. Y'all tell me what y'all do. I'm going to go back up here and make my day. Y'all, I'm sitting up here watching this down on the bench because I'm parking outside. This day I didn't go in the garage. Right. They do have a smoking room in this building. But he out here with his head bundled up. It really ain't that cold out here to me. Well, I think it's like in the fortress. Well, see, I hear with his head bundled up, y'all, with a hoodie on, trying to smoke a cigarette. And I, I, I know I've seen the way cold, and people be outside smoking. If I was a smoker, I think I'd quit if I had to be out here in the elements trying to smoke. It ain't just serious to me. You know how that go. But I see him out here, they be all clustered up, trying to smoke. I guess that's an addictive habit that's hard to break. I was talking to this young lady, right? When I went to go pick up my iron ring. And she was saying that, um, she had just got back from California. That was her first time being. And I was, it was just an interesting conversation. She said they had all made up in their mind that they were going to go on a trip on their vacation. And they pooled their money together. They rented an Airbnb place in um, California, in L.A. Um, um, they stayed for four days. It was her birthday and somebody else's birthday in Atlanta. So they did it for four days. They all met up. And... They just had a good time. And I was telling her that's how you're supposed to do it. You, know, you only got this one life to live, you know, if you want to go somewhere, there's no reason why you can't. And luckily, she ran with a group with the same mindset. You know, if you want to do something, 
You ain't got to get up and do it today. But we're going to plan. We're going to make some time. We're going to put our money aside. And we're going to get together and we're going to enjoy ourselves. And she said she really had a good time. But she ready to go back to work now. She said she got a couple more days of vacation. But she said, I'm ready to go back from work so I can start earning for the next time. I said, young lady, that's how you do it. And she was saying how some of her friends, it was their first time on the airplane. I said, well, y'all got the mind, right mindset. You know. That is the same. I'm at the age range where most of our kids are grown, the group of my friends. They having grandbabies, though. So, they really don't. I'm not going to judge. They really say they have to watch their grandbabies or do this, that, and the third. And when I have a grandbaby, Lord knows I'm probably going to have my child all the time. But the one thing I don't do, and I got on my mother about this. You do what you want to do. It's for us to work around your schedule, not for you to work around our schedule. You know, she didn't want my daughter. My daughter went to daycare with my sister. I'm like, if she got vacation time on her job. When you want to go somewhere, you let her know where you want to go. Uh, and then she can work her brain, her time around you. Because you're doing her face. Not the other way around. Well, no, you can't go right now. No, no, it don't work like that. Uh, so, I have friends right now that do that. I'm like, okay. What's my grandchild? I love my grandchild. I'm going to make sure my grandchild all right. But what's my that's your child. And I'm going to do everything I can. Lord knows I am proud to welcome my child. But as long as I can go and do, I'm going to do that. So, my responsibility was to raise her to be responsible. And hopefully be a good mother to her child if she has me. I pray so anyway. I was sitting up here complaining about the ketchup, y'all. Because y'all could see I ate every last one of these. Was that a slip of ketchup? You go show you now. Mm-hmm. Anyway. I want to see inside of one of those shredded trucks. There's shredded trucks sitting out here. I got a little thing of those little apple slices with the caramel sauce. Okay, if I get home later. Well, y'all, I just thought I'd stop in and munch and smack on these doggone onion rings that were delicious. I hope y'all are having a wonderful and blessed day and doing something absolutely enjoyable. I want you to know that you're loved. I love you, but God loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And let me go back to work, y'all. Bye. I'll talk to y'all later this week. Love you. Bye.